it's a few years since I've um, had a holiday. I can't remember how many now. Um, well, a couple at least. And it was very nice where we went. It was uh, South Wales. I um, went with a few friends. Um, but this, I know this has been said many times, but it, you shouldn't overlook this. It's, it's very important, I think. Human nature. It, it's, I found it, um, almost compulsory to when on the top of a big high hill in in South Wales to do a 360 with the camera and I didn't have a um, video camera I was just simply taking pictures and I wanted each picture to join up so um, you could overlay it and Digitally, it's quite easy to do that. You just end up with a big uh, linear um, image <clears throat> that, <clears throat> in actual fact, is 360 degrees if it was all curled round. So one, the end would start, uh, would the, be the beginning of the other. You know what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> so imagine going to a planet, or the moon isn't really a planet but it's a planet shaped isn't it a big sphere so they say and imagine being on the moon with a video camera and not doing that not feeling the urge to say hey buzz you fat bastard look at this oh you know and spin round spin round with a camera spin round go on neil but they didn't did they in fact, it wasn't only Neil and Buzz that didn't do that. None of them did it. <laughs> None of them. None of them. Because it was fake, obviously. The fourth wall would have been exposed. And then it's, um, it's all over. Walt Disney Productions. Anyway, um... Uh, I, just, I just thought, I know it's, again, it doesn't prove anything, but I'm talking about human nature. Something you can't really avoid. You can't get over it. It's what, it's how we are. It's what we do. It, in every, every, um, almost everybody anyway, is going to want to do that. Um, so I, out of the 12 or whatever um, fake, uh, sorry, um, astronauts, um, actonauts, out of the 12, I think, on it, uh, for, uh, out of those people who supposedly went to the moon, none of them felt the urge, not even to do like a... 200 degree swizzle round because they, they, they just might have got the edge of the set <laughs> which was quite small in fact and it had the front screen projection technique that uh, that can be clearly seen you can clearly see the background is different to the foreground in the pictures and on the moving images it's it's so easy, and there is so much. There's so much footage of them going along in that um, fucking stupid car that couldn't have worked on the moon. Sorry, but it couldn't have worked on the moon. What you what you you running on? Is it petrol? Of course, it's not petrol. Oh, diesel then? No, it's not. It needs oxygen to burn any of those internal combustion. Oh, so it's electric, is it? Mm -hmm. So electric. So, batteries, electric, so they could, they could run an electric car on the moon in 1970, whatever it was. But of course, they'd have been building it before then, wouldn't they? They wouldn't just think, think of it, oh, shall we put that? No, no, no. 
So they've had this technology, technology um, for all that time, and they haven't given it to the general public. And then the accusers of ruining, ruining our planet, <laughs> planet, by poisoning the air with all the car fumes and all the factories fumes from making the car fumes and all the digging up of the fossil fuels to power the factories and cars and and all the time we could have had electric cars tesla obviously built the first electric car but hey everybody's forgotten about tesla haven't they everybody with power i mean when I, i'm talking about power i mean the power to change things like building these electric cars instead of the stinking it's not fossil fuel but um oil burning cars it's all oil petrol diesel dulux paint it's all oil comes from you know under the north sea or in from texas or iraq or libya or wherever you know oil the black stuff so they had batteries that would not only would they run a car um the, the the must be quite light because they went up in in the rocket and you know weight the weight ratio of the rocket uh is very um finely tuned so it can reach the maximum velocity to to <laughs> christ say come on it's just utter bullshit um rockets don't work in a vacuum sorry um so the so the electric cars the batteries to power them that's the thing with the electric cars the electric motor no trouble at all wheels that go around on bearings and steering and no trouble at all hmm but the f the fuel source that is a bit of a problem or if it's electric but not if you're a NASA scientist, because you can put a battery in an electric car that works on the moon. On the moon. The moon with a temperature difference so vast it would destroy any battery if uh, you put it to that kind of temperature extremes. But like, like a car battery, say. A car battery that starts your car you know it would destroy it so what did they have then and why didn't we have it they wanted to tax us they wanted to, to um tax us more be, to, to become green and so we could close all the um oil um refineries and um oil rigs and um power stations that run on coal um because it's all the same really um i meaning you know the the electricity supply could have been um obviously years ago how many how many years has, has man been building windmills to grind grain for centuries that's been the thing so why, you know, come on, why not just think, hmm, electric generation through wind, or there must be some connection between photovoltaic cells and um, um, the way plants get sugar, the way plants feed themselves, actually. Um, that's some kind of carbon capture uh, process through chlorophyll uh, there is some kind of connection there i'm quite sure everything's electric uh, we are electric um, cells in plants are electric uh, the atmosphere is electric the ground is actually electric and um in a way and the static charge in the atmosphere increases um i don't know the the um numbers but i know it increases massively as you the higher you climb 
So, did the did they have a solar panel on the car? Mm, no. So how did they? Oh, batteries, of course. We went through that, didn't we? Batteries. So how come the batteries didn't just fuck up with all the temperature differences? Because they're NASA scientists. We don't question NASA scientists. They went to the moon, for God's sake. No. So I'm sorry if I'm questioning NASA scientists. Did they, um, hmm, did they have the same kind of batteries in the suits for the air conditioning? And the, um, they would have to re wouldn't it recirculate the air somehow because did they breathe it out into the vacuum no you couldn't have a valve that opened into a vacuum <laughs> because it would stay open and it would kill the actinaut see all these things that they put in place for space to make it like a place where we the normal people couldn't go Yes, I do. Um, I do think I'm kind of normal, yeah. All right, then the plebeians, whatever you think. We can't go there. They, they put all these obstacles in the way. Um, so if only a very, very special bunch of people who swear an oath of secrecy can go anywhere near the edge of space. Um, and also we can't go to, uh, um, well, we can't freely go to Antarctica. We can't go that, there without a guide. Uh, and, hmm, suspicious, isn't it? You can do more, you can do, you can kill yourself in many, many ways. Okay, you can, you can, well, I'm not going to go through the list of methods of how to kill yourself but that the, um the authorities don't seem to care um that there are all these methods of killing yourself available um it's up to you you've got free will haven't you but you haven't got free will to go to you're not free anyway to go to antarctica from whatever um um vantage point you know um south america the tip of south america and chile i think it is uh uh, or like the South Africa or Australia, well, New Zealand, Australia, New Zealand, each of those points. And God, technology will will prove this one way or the other soon. Um, just think of this scenario: three people, people who you know the Earth's flat, so we're not talking about any um, people who are going to fake it. Three well-trusted people who know the Earth's flat go from those three points, or let's just say New Zealand, South Africa and South America, and progress south and with, with some kind of device, a mobile phone sort of thing, they could actually show um, their, their journey, log their journey, and do it all at the same time. Re log the time and and uh, and and the, then just see where they are in relation to each other from the sky. From, well, there's lots of ways you could do it actually. Um, but we're not actually allowed to do that. We're not allowed to um, go on our own. Um, vessel or steam or free will or, or whatever we're not allowed to do that and that's a bit suspicious well of course it's more than suspicious it's it's obviously not a continent it's just a it's just a place where um the sun don't shine <clears throat> not even in the summer all the time so it's it's nonsense there is a globe because if it was a globe the sun would shine all summer like it does in the north and that's how you can tell